moments ago, and we are still waiting word for on what caused an El Mirage police officer to collapse and die yesterday while chasing a suspect. Our Donna Rossi is live at El Mirage Police Headquarters and Donna, a 17 year veteran. Much of the community knew Officer Paul Lazinski and he was just months away from retirement. Yeah, th that long on the beat in this small of a community, so many people came in contact with Officer Paul Lazinski throughout the years. I learned today that he will be especially missed in one mobile heart a mobile home park community here in El Mirage who affectionately referred to him as Officer Paul. He just was the epitome of a police officer, what you have in your mind that you think that they should be somebody that's caring and and you know is willing to work with the community and you hear so many negative things you know anymore but he was he was just wonderful. He was he's going to be dearly missed. Over the years, Officer Paul Lazinski became a fixture in the mobile home park called the Palms of El Mirage. One of the managers said he would come to the park nearly every day he was on duty. Many times he would stop in the office and talk with her. News spread very fast through the residents of Lazinski's passing. Many of the folks say they are still in shock and disbelief. People are devastated. They're devastated. They lost a friend. They lost somebody that they, you know, knew that would, was looking out for them to protect them. A community vigil is set for tomorrow night here in El Mirage at 615 at the Veterans Memorial Park here. Funeral arrangements are also underway. As soon as we learn those arrangements, we will pass them along to you.